Here's how you can trim away excess music and make your audio more precise with Clipchamp. Start by heading over to clipchamp.com and then log in or create your free account. I've put the link in the description below. Once logged in, you'll be taken to the homepage where you'll click on the create a new video button. Then you'll be taken straight into the editor to get creating. The first thing you'll need to do is import the audio you want to trim. Do this by navigating over to the import media button, selecting the assets and hitting open. They'll load into your media library over here. I've added in a video and an audio asset for this tutorial. Now just add the assets into the timeline by dragging and dropping them in just like this. Make sure to place the audio file underneath your video file. Now, the first way to adjust your audio is to trim the file using the audio trimming handles. This method is for those audio files you don't mind removing some of the sound from. To do this, click on the audio file in your timeline and it will highlight in green so that you know it's selected. Now, to trim the beginning of the audio file, just move the front green handle to the right, just like this. To trim the end, do the same thing, but drag the end handle to the left. If you've accidentally trimmed too much off of your audio file, just drag the green handles back to recover it. Remember that using the green handles to trim the file will remove the excess audio from the timeline, meaning you will lose some of that audio. Secondly, if you want to make your audio shorter without losing any of the sound, you can simply edit the pace of your audio. Do this by again clicking on the file in your timeline and now navigate over to the property panel and click into the speed tab. Here you can drag the speed slider to the right to increase the pace of your audio. This will make your audio file shorter on the timeline and speed up its pace. So it's important to note that by speeding up your audio file to trim it, this will make the audio go a lot faster. So make sure to listen back and ensure it sounds the way that you want. Next, if you have a video that has sound you'd like to adjust, you can edit your video's audio without editing the actual video footage. Do this by detaching the audio from your video. Simply click on your video in the timeline and it will highlight in green, meaning it's selected. Then navigate over to the property panel and click on the audio button. Select the detach audio button and your audio will then separate from your video. Now you can either follow step one to trim the audio or step two to adjust the pace. By doing this, you won't have to alter your video footage at all. Lastly, to trim multiple assets at once, you can use the multi-item editing feature. Just hold down the shift key on your keyboard and then click on each asset in the timeline that you want to trim. You'll again notice the selected clips will highlight in green. Then drag the green handles left or right to trim those assets at the same time. And it's as simple as that. Once you're completely happy with your video, export it by heading up to the export button, selecting your video quality. And then once the export is complete, hit save to your computer and it will download to your device all ready for you to share. And that's how you can trim audio with Clipchamp. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for our weekly how-to videos.